This is Ohm's Law for HVAC. This will also, if you kind of learn these, the magic wheel and how it operates, this will also help you get through some of the tests that are on Mate for your basic electrical and stuff like that. So this is Ohm's Law for HVAC. We have the magic wheel. Magic wheel is a big old circle with a line through the middle and a line down. And at the top, we put E. It's E over I times R. Well, E is electromotive force. It's abbreviated EMF. How we look at it is volts. The I is for intensity. I think I spelled that wrong. Anyway, um, and it's measured in amps. And the R is resistance. And that is measured in ohms or the delta sign. You'll see that on your meter. Okay, I've, here I've put the magic wheels over to the side. When you're looking at like your NADE exam or basic electrical exam, you're going to see the E over I times R. And just know that it means volts, amps, and ohms. That's what we deal with in HVAC. There's three basic formulas that we deal with when we're dealing with the magic wheel. And the first one here is going to be E, which means volts. And that's going to be I times R. Or it's going to be Amps times the resistance. Got it? Not a problem. Now we're going to look for intensity or amps. And that's going to be E divided by R, or volts divided by resistance. Okay, now we're going to come down here to our R, which is ohms. Delta sign going on there. And this is done by E divided by I. Simple, easy. Volts divided by amps. Easy math. Three basic. There's, there's others. But for what we're dealing with, when we're dealing with motor windings and voltages on units that we're dealing with and capacitance uh, and uh, capacitors and uh, coils and electric motors and stuff like that, this comes into play. Uh, when we're checking a unit and we're looking at the tag on the, on the unit and the motor says it draws 3.2 amps and you've got your amp meter on there and it's drawing 6, you know you've got a problem. But anyway... This is your basic math. This will help get you through your Nate stuff. In HVAC, when we're talking about volts, we're talking about volts that is feeding our units. Uh, normally on residential, they're 240 volt, 230 volt, 240 volt units. Normally it'll be 208, 230 on your uh, small commercial it could be three phase um, we could deal with 460 volt units three phase 
120 volt units, which would be your small furnaces and that sort of thing. That's the volts that we'd be dealing with. Now the amps that we're dealing with would be like if you looked at your nameplate and you checking out your motor and like I said, you know, you're, you're drawing three amps on your, or your motor's supposed to be drawing like three amps and you're drawing eight, you know there's a problem. You could either have a bad capacitor, then you go ahead and check your capacitor and uh, or you check the windings in your motor. You know what your voltage is. You know what your amperage was supposed to be, so you got to check your resistance in your motor winding, and you probably get close. Now, as far as your resistance goes, um, that's measured in ohms. That's where you put an ohm meter on. You're using the battery in the meter to send a little bit of voltage through a circuit, and it measures the resistance in that circuit. It comes up as a little calculation, and gives you a little number. Uh, very basic, easy stuff. There is three types of ohms or resistance that we deal with one is pure resistance that's heat strips another one is inductive reactants that's motors and coils solenoid coils and that sort of thing that we deal with uh, another one would be capacitive reactants that would be your capacitors so there's three parts to the resistance that we deal with uh, we have uh, one or two parts for your amps and your bolts